Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, I wanted to announce that I've opened up a Discord server. It's not affiliated with the Free Realm Sunrise Discord server, but it is still about Free Realms. I just thought it would be a good idea to have a server where I could connect with you guys, you could connect to other Free Realm Sunrise YouTubers, where you can keep up to date on my videos and their videos and the news on Free Realm Sunrise. I figured this would be a good idea because many people aren't in the server that watch my videos or other YouTubers videos or they just don't like checking it so my server is a kind of a quiet low-key place to chat with other Free Realms fans and to keep up to date on the project. So if you would like to join there's a link in the description it'll take you right to my discord server but you do need a discord account first so you can just go to their website and make an account there. So today I want to talk about how I discovered Free Realms and Free Realms Sunrise now this is a video that I made back when I first started my channel, back when I had first joined this community. Since then I've gotten a lot better at editing and commentary so I really want to remake it. And also I have an alpha key now so instead of making you stare at a picture of the game I can actually play the game. So while I'm talking I'm going to be running around Free Realms a little bit. So I discovered Free Realms back in 2009, well late 2009. I was 10 years old and I had seen the game advertised on TV quite a few times but it didn't really hit me until like December. Hey, this game looks really fun. I think I want to join it. So I created an account. My name was Michaela Flaming Whisper. Let's just have a round of applause for that one. But it's okay. I think we a lot of us made some pretty embarrassing names on that game. I spent like the first probably six months to nine months not really knowing how to play the game. I just kind of explored and did my own thing for a really long time until I finally learned, oh hey, you can you can do quests, you can fight things, you can level up all these jobs, play all these mini games, decorate your house, make your character look really cool. And so I really started getting into the game in 2010. I was probably 11 when I first really started to notice, oh hey, this is a really fun game. Since then, my life was changed. And in 2010, I also got my siblings to join the game. So their names were Monica Flaming Whisper and Maxwell Flaming Whisper. And we were one huge family of Flaming Whispers and it was just not fun. <laughs> and oh, I can't believe I made them have the same name as me. Well, like the same last name. That's so embarrassing, guys. Wow. Anyways, we all three would play Free Realms, not all at once, because for the longest time we only had two computers, so two people would get a play and then one person would get kicked off and the other person would play, but we would like legitimately get in fights over Free Realms, whether that would be who would get a play at next, what we were doing on the game, like we were, we were so into this game that we fought over it, and my mom has some pretty funny stories of us fighting over Free Realms. In 2010, I really got into the game, I got my first membership then, I wasn't a lifetime member for like a long time, but I got my first membership for like a month then, and for that Christmas, about like the one year mark of me playing the game, I got my first station cash card, and I want to apologize right now to my parents and grandparents for probably spending hundreds of dollars on station cash cards because every Christmas and birthday and good report card grade reward I was asking for free realms cards because that's just all I wanted to spend my money on from that point on I was like addicted to this game well I guess until it closed honestly I was hardcore into this <laughs> several years went by and through elementary into middle school, Free Realms was my life. Like, when I came home from school and got my homework finished, obviously, because I was a good student first before a Free Realms kid, I would finish my homework, and then I would come straight up to the computer, and I would get on the game. And that is how I would spend my evening, and I would do that for years. Summer was spent on Free Realms, weekends were spent on Free Realms, days after school, they were all spent on Free Realms. So this game was literally my life. I actually think I accumulated like over 2,000 hours in the game by the time it was finished. Not my proudest moment. For several, several years, from 2010 when I really got into it until 2014 when it was ripped from us and made me cry, I was playing Free Realms. But in about, I think, 2011, my cousin also joined the game. 
And so I would also play with him. When we would go over to my grandma's house, we would play together. Or like if I was home, I would call him and be like, hey, you wanna play free realms? And then we'd play together. So we didn't really, I don't forget what we did. We, I think I helped him build a house was the main thing that we did. We didn't really play often because he was doing other things, but yeah, I would play with him sometimes. And then in 2013, I actually found out that one of my best friends played Free Realms, and we had been, we've been friends since 2010, so three years went by, and I had no idea my best friend played Free Realms. And one day at lunch, I just happened to bring it up. I don't know, I didn't really talk about it with my friends because they weren't really into games like I was like I was starting to get into gaming at this point in my life and they weren't really into that so I didn't really mention it I mean it wasn't that I was ashamed of it or anything I just never brought it up because we always had other things to talk about that we all enjoyed so I just never talked about it but one day I happened to bring it up and my friend was like oh you play free realms I play that game too I love it so much and I was like oh yeah I do and I was thinking, hey, you probably don't play it as much as I do because this game is literally my life. But as it turned out, she was just as addicted as I was. So that night, we decided to meet on Free Realms. And from then on, like, just about any time I was on, she was also on. So we would play together all the time. We would just go exploring together. She was actually the one that got me into role playing. So, okay. You guys are probably going to hate me. But when I was in fourth grade, this friend also was the one that introduced me to the Warrior Cats book series. So in 2013, when we were playing Free Realms, guess what we roleplayed? You guessed it, Warrior Cats. Now, I wasn't a cringy role player like the ones that would come up to you and beg you to get out of their territory or they were going to kill you. I was not that weird, okay? We just, we had a few guilds and we roleplayed Warrior Cats. And... Am I ashamed of it now? Yes, but it did create some fine memories between me and my friend. So she actually got me into role playing. And after that, we, like, there was a certain point where we're like, okay, we're kind of outgrowing this, so let's think of some other things that we can role play. So we started doing, like, the Scorpio Races series. I have this book sitting on my bookshelf, but we would role play that and just, like, these other stories that we would come up with and some of our other friends would join in. Then one summer, like, she had to come over to my house, like, nearly every weekday because her parents worked. So I would get on one computer, she would get on the other, and we had a third computer, so sometimes my sister and my brother would join us. And we would just play freedoms until she had to go home. So it was that was a lot of fun, and that also, as I was getting older and stuff, that just kept me in the game. Though I don't think I would have outgrown it anyways, but it was so much fun. And then... Shortly after that, I think it was, yeah, it would have been my freshman year, um, my mom saw, I guess she had, like, my siblings had an account, like, through her email, so she got the unfortunate email that Free Realms was shutting down. It was going to be on March, March 31st is when it shut down, 2014, and I was convinced it was an April Fool's joke because I was just in so much denial over my favorite game shutting down. I was like, there's no way they're shutting it down. This has to be a joke. There's no way. I just kept playing and eventually it sunk in like, oh my gosh, they're actually going to shut my game down. But I just kept playing right up until the final moments, though I could not be there for the final day because I, I had to do something. I don't know what it was, but I just wasn't home. And so that made me very upset. So I went and watched some videos for like the next week and cried because I was watching videos of my game ending. So I was just very upset about it. Fast forward to junior year, the end of junior year. Between that time, I would occasionally watch a Free Realms video or occasionally look back at some old videos that I had made as a kid, which it wasn't really a big part of my Free Realms career, so I didn't really mention it, but yes, I did make a few Free Realms videos and put them on YouTube. But I would just go back and watch a Free Realms video occasionally. I had started monitoring Luna Waters' YouTube channel because sometimes she was posting updates about these like Free Realms reconnected free realms i don't know what what all were they reconnected revival whatever but all these like revival projects but they would always turn out to be fake and so i just kind of lost hope for a while so for a few years i didn't even watch them anymore i was like okay this game's never coming back well it wasn't until junior year as i said i was 17 
I was just happening to scroll through and I found a video in my recommended and it was one of Luna Water's streams. I was like, oh my gosh, is she, is she actually playing Free Realms? I clicked on the video and sat there and watched several hours of Luna Water just walking around Free Realms because I just could not believe that this game was back. This was in April, so I was like, okay, I want to find out more about this. So I watched a few more of her streams and found the website that Free Realms Sunrise used to have. They still have it, but they like, closed the forums down, but I joined the forums and then I joined the Discord server, though I didn't really talk in the Discord server for a while because it was very hectic until I realized that talking in the Discord server was about the only way that I could get an alpha key and I was determined to get that alpha key. It wasn't until probably late May that I started talking in the Free Home Sunrise Discord server avidly. Like I would check in every once in a while, but I was like, okay, this is too hectic. I can't, I can't talk to this many people. I just would like watch it occasionally, but I wouldn't really do anything. And I would mainly focus on the forums until I realized, okay, I have to talk in this Discord server if I want my alpha key. I started talking in the Discord server, and by this time I had already made a few videos, so people were like, oh my gosh, hey, it's Regina. And I was like, oh wow, these people actually know me? Like, what the heck? I thought, okay, that's kind of cool. So I kept talking to everyone, and I made some really great friends. I just, I, I kept talking in there constantly day after day grueling hour after grueling hour and i will admit at first i just talked in there because i wanted an alpha key but then eventually i just started forming these relationships with people and i was like okay there is more to the freedom sunrise community than meets the eye and like i legitimately care about these people and i enjoy talking to these people this isn't just about getting an alpha key anymore weeks went by alpha had shut down I wasn't expecting anything important to happen for a really long time because the devs were busy. It just wasn't looking like there was going to be really anything exciting. And then one day, it was shortly after they'd opened up their Reddit that they had this random key drop in the Reddit. Somebody had already beat everyone to it. I don't know who it was. I forget now. I was like, oh my gosh, they just gave a key out. A few days later, they dropped another one and I was so upset because I didn't get to it in time. Then just slowly but surely, they started dropping all these keys. And I think it was on the third day, everyone was just so hyped because they'd already given out, I think three keys through key drops. And so I literally on my computer, I had the website redeem page pulled up in Discord and I was sitting there waiting and I just sat on my computer all day talking to some friends. Um, I think it was probably Elkin, uh, Busy, some other people, just we were all hyped about the keys. So we were just sitting there, everyone was in the same boat as I was and later that evening I was legitimately talking about getting a key. I got a PM and it was Mark's profile picture and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm either getting trolled or this is really just about to happen. Well, first I kind of panicked and I was like, oh my gosh, did I break a rule or something? I, with shaking hands, clicked on that DM and it was this big sequence of letters and numbers. I just sat there and I broke down into tears. I literally, the first message I sent back to Mark was, I just cried. I mean, I wasn't gonna lie to the guy. I really did. I sat there and I cried. I was like, oh my gosh, why did I send that to him later on? I was just so overwhelmed by the fact that I actually got an alpha key that I was just so amazed. I redeemed it and everything. My name was turned a different color because everyone in that server has a white name unless you have an alpha key or your staff. But my name was turned purple, which was the color at the time. And so I typed in the chat, was like, oh my gosh, guys, look. And everyone flipped out because my name was purple. And they're like, wait, 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 was there a key drop or something? I was like, no, I got PM'd. And, and it was just really chaotic. And then a few other people got PM'd a key like about an hour after me, but it was still really cool. And so then for like the next week after that, a ton of people were getting their alpha keys. I remember when I was starting to like make some more friends with people and I was in the voice chat with the alpha key hype, I'll say, because everyone in there was like freaking out like, who's gonna get the next key tonight? Because they would hand out keys at about the same time every night. So I remember sitting in the voice chat and I was talking to just a pop tart. He started choking on his water and he mentioned this in his how I discovered Free Realms Free Realms Sunrise video. He just started choking on water and it was like, oh my gosh, are you okay? And he was like, I just got an alpha key. So he got an alpha key and then 
I think a few days later, they finally handed out the last ones. And I remember when Elkin got her key, I was so happy because she was one of my close friends. And now all my friends had keys. And so it was really cool. On, I believe, let's see, I got my key July 31st. And so it was about a week after that. They opened up Alpha 1 again, and I was so excited. I could not believe that they had just done that. So Alpha 1's been up ever since August, which it's been a long ride. I mean, they're, they've had some cool updates, but I mean, the game's still just a walking simulator, so it's not really that fun at the moment. But they have added like all these cool things. I've seen several updates in my time of being on Alpha. They have done really cool events like the Yeti event where we went and found these little Ye Yeti figurines that you could put in your house from the original game. And depending on how many you found, you would get coins and eventually Sunrise Cash, which is what they renamed Station Cash since they can't use that name since it's copyrighted. There have been events like that. We had a Snow Days event, which I made a video on that previously if you want to go watch that if you missed it. But yeah, it was a lot of fun and I was just so excited that I got the chance to be an alpha tester and have an alpha key. And so that brings us to currently, I'm sitting in my room at six o'clock at night making this video and patiently, impatiently, waiting on pre-beta, which is what alpha two has been renamed because it had just has grown into such a big update that they can't even call it an alpha anymore. So that is where we're at currently. I definitely, Freedoms has definitely changed my life. And after it closed down in 2014, I never ever thought that I would be sitting here with an alpha key playing the game again. Like it's just, it's kind of so weird if you just sit and think about it for a while. I'm so glad I had the opportunity and really thankful for just everything that the devs have done not only just giving me my alpha key but actually bringing the game back and it's gonna be in pre-beta soon like that's just so weird to think about that we're actually gonna be in pre-beta it's just so weird freedoms has definitely got me through a lot this year it's senior year and man i have had it rough but definitely freedoms has given me that hope that it once gave me as a kid when I would come home from school. It is the same now, even though I don't really get on it much after school, but I have the community. That's enough of me rambling. I'm gonna go now. I have a few other videos that I'm gonna be either remaking or making. I hope to be able to stream soon. I'm still working on that, but I cannot guarantee anything. But thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.